Well, you knew this was coming because we've all seen it. Coworkers sleeping on the job, caught nodding off. What's their excuse? Well, you're about to hear it here tonight. And Chris Conley hearing from the Sharks on Shark Tank. They've got a message you can deliver to your coworkers come Monday morning. There's no greater risk to your career than falling asleep on the job. For Shark Tank's Robert Herjavec, who's amassed $100 million in his waking hours, downtime at the office is unheard of. You don't get to be a shark by snoozing. If you snooze, you lose. Yet for today's overworked employee, not getting enough sleep can really take a toll, even if he can't. Hey! Morgan Freeman, Michael Caine. Good, Good morning. morning. Even movie stars plugging their own films sometimes need an unexpected rest, like on this Seattle morning show. It's a quite a wondrous thing to sit there. We were in the audience last night. And remarkably, live news anchors have been caught snoozing. Carry on the beach, Such as this one from the BBC. And this radio host didn't drop the mic, he dropped onto it. Even law enforcement isn't immune. This surfaced this week on our San Francisco station KGO. A trucker found this park ranger sawing wood with a beverage accomplice. There's a state park guy here and I can't wake the guy up. And not even being photographed could wake up this alleged burglar who catnapped his way into custody after the homeowner's house cleaner found him clasping this sack of jewels while bagging some Z's. 911, there's a man laying on the bed, I'm scared. Please hurry so we can touch him. Falling asleep on the job doesn't usually get you arrested. He's pled not guilty, but it can get you fired or teased on TV. Oh, we bored the scoreboard operator oh, to sleep. Yep, sorry, pal. Your supervisor will be calling you shortly. It's worse for time zone crisscrossing politicians expected to be ever alert, waiting to speak or listening to a speech. Maryland Governor Martin O'Malley nodded off during a meeting with constituents. Tracy Eno says she had spent weeks preparing a speech opposing a natural gas export facility. Hazardous properties. Yeah, I was really excited to be there because I thought finally, you know, here's the opportunity to get the message across. Then it occurred to me, he's dozing off. I was really angry. Hello, you know, wake up here. <laughs> Pay attention to me now. At the time, O'Malley's spokesperson told Maryland's Daily Record he was listening intently during the six-hour meeting. And he's only human. Recent sleep studies would open anyone's eyes. Getting enough sleep improves cognition, memory, and creativity. Great, but what about, you know, money? Overachieving entrepreneurs like the Shark Tank crew insist that advocates for getting seven to nine hours of bed rest a night are full of sheets. There isn't enough hours in a day for me to get the stuff I need done, so I train myself to sleep four hours a night. Anybody can do it. You work kind of 24-7. You sleep because you need to and you have to. I'd rather be tired than broke. In short, do your bleeping job. But for the rest of us, lack of sleep can seem like a permanent component of any job these days. I look around here and I think, this is the perfect workspace for the 21st century, <laughs> right? How sleepy are we? There was a, an HR study that recently just called like it an kinda, epidemic. Just like kinda, just, just <laughs> Cynthia Shapiro, a former human resources executive turned career coach and author, is wise in the ways of today's high-powered companies and says some of them want you sleep deprived and work obsessed. She cautions, even if they provide a nap room for the weary, be wary. Don't use them. It's a trap. It's a trap. In order to use it safely, it has to be a super obvious work-related reason. So everyone in the company needs to know that you just got off a red-eye flight or you had you were up all night doing a presentation. That sounds like more work than just staying up. I agree. Some people fall asleep for health or medical reasons. But no matter what the cause, Cynthia suggests if you got a doze, get out of Dodge. The best thing to do is get out. Tell your boss you forgot about a dentist appointment or you have to go pick something up, run an errand, go sleep in your car. You're going to drive your <laughs> car somewhere? Drive your car a couple, parking lot yes. Sleep in that sleep parking lot? Sleep in your car. Set an alarm to, so you don't oversleep. That's just hard. Don't let them see you sleeping. But what if you just can't get away? Well, Cynthia okay, Shapiro so showed me a canny, tongue-in-cheek cubicle cover-up to disguise drowsiness. Remember the governor listening intently? 
Let's call this the ponder. You want to have some important papers in front of you. You basically put your head um, on your hand and make sure it's pretty secure and then you can close your eyes. And if someone, you know, comes up and says, Chris, what are you doing? Oh, I was pondering, I was deep in thought. Yeah, these numbers, they gotta add up. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Okay. All right. But a handful of companies fully embrace the idea that their employees need to be refreshed. Time to shut the engines down for a little bit. Google's nap pods are a popular perk, at least in the movies. What would I do without these babies? <laughs> And Ariana Huffington, who sold her Huffington Post to AOL for $315 million, is a big advocate of a good night's rest. Sleep your way to the top. Touting the upside of downtime. Being busy, being always on, has been seen as a badge of honor. That is changing. You know why? Because I feel so good after eight hours sleep, and I enjoy my day. And it turns out that even sharks need a little shut-eye. You don't know how to run a company. You don't know how to preempt the competition. Sure you don't I know do. how to compete. When Mark Cuban caught fellow shark Kevin O'Leary catnapping, he pounced. No. That's just wrong. I took a picture and I, and I Instagrammed it out of Kevin falling asleep. Yeah. So yeah, Kevin's definitely a napper. The truth comes out.